Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of Artisan. So this episode, I decided what we're going to do. We're going to start on AE. So what that means is I'm going to cut. So before you run away, I'm going to cut. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put it all on camera. I am going to cut. I repeat, I am cutting. Um, the reason I stress that, for those you don't know, is that a the beginnings of AE is terribly grindy and annoying. And it's going to take like a long time to get started. But... It's relatively cheap, honestly, other than your time, and the power cost is minimal. So we have enough power to run an AE system. The question is, do we have the patience? I'm kidding. We got the patience. And I figured we need an AE system before we can actually start truly making progress on a cool-looking base. Because I need to get all my stuff in one place so it's easy to move. That way I can move things around the base as needed and I can uh, start doing things that I need to do. So I already have a bunch of ideas. So you don't have to worry about me being lost and the whole concept. But for now, I'm going to cut and then explain the processes maybe as they go. Like after I craft a bunch of things, I'll be like, this is, does this. Blah, 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 blah. And now I'm going to cut and I'm going to do all the boring stuff. And then I'll come back and be like, hey, look, isn't it fun? Best mod ever. It is pretty much one of the best mods ever, to be honest, even, even with the grindiness. Even with the grindiness. And I'm pretty sure, I'm just double checking our resources. We got all the things we need to at least get started. Might be a little low on gold, but I think we're going to be fine. All right, well, I'll be right back. So we got an AA system. It took about an hour, but we have one. It's got 34K drives. That's all it's got. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to move all my chests in here, and I think three drives might be enough to hold all our things. Um... Definitely space-wise, but I don't know about type-wise. Oh, that's totally empty. Yeah. Definitely got enough space for that chest. All right. For the rest of it, though, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough room. Um, as long as we keep tools and stuff out. The thing is, is once we have all our stuff in the AE system, it'll become much easier to actually craft expansions to the AE system. So it's kind of like a... Like a... Uh, I know there's a word for it, but... I don't remember the word for it. But yeah, I'm smart. I know big words that I was going to use but forgot. So, screw you. <sighs> Golden horse armor, you don't need to go in there. Uh, I'm trying to keep single item things out. So far, we filled up the first drive, which is understandable. We got seven types in the next drive. You know what, let's go ahead and put the single use safari nets in there. Because, you know what, whatever, why not? This, however, I'm gonna put a chest over here. This will be the chest of thing that's not of things that's not going inside the AE system. And those are the things that will go right there. All right, so we're gonna hope we got enough room for all this. Pretty much any um, smeltery stuff, I'm not gonna put in the AE system. I don't know, just why not? Why put it in there to begin with and save some space, I suppose. Especially not Tinkerer's Parts. Tinkerer's Parts are another thing. They just take up an item slot without actually providing that much convenience. I may even melt it back down and put it back in. Oh, I love AE so much. All of our things in a convenient, easy-to-find location. Do we need food right now? Eh, kinda. We got some hot dogs. We should probably check on the automation quotation marks to see if it's clogged up again. I've got to fix that. I will fix that soon. Uh, we haven't quite filled up the next drive yet. The thing is, is the more drives we get, I mean, the more chests we get, like, the more I, um, places there are to put it. Like, just because we filled up on the first drive doesn't mean that, like, 90% of the stuff from the next chest we find is it going to fit in that next drive. Because I'm pretty sure we've dumped some of this ore and a lot of these ingots in already. Uh, so yeah, that's, darn it, please don't make me make another 4K, I don't have all my stuff in the AE yet, that's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, I still got so much junk to put in there, I guess we can scroll through and see what we can take out, um, we want it sort by a number of items, What do we have lots of ones of? Tool rod. You're not supposed to be in there. Item slot saved. 
Uh, all the other stuff can stay though. Inscribers don't stay. So that's like four whole slots we just freed up. I guess I should probably explain how AE works, huh? So basically, AE works by storing items inside of digital format, but the format is that you can have 63 types of items in one drive, but they can fill up so many bytes. So 4,096 bytes is pretty okay. That can store like maybe 40,000? No. The bytes are kind of weird, because you would think one item equals one byte, but it, but it doesn't. So... If, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So let's take out these other two drives, and we have 637 bytes in here. So the only things being displayed are are the ones in that first drive. So 637. Let's take out one pork chop. Some items are worth one byte. So 629. So see, this one pork chop was worth way more than one byte. It was worth uh, 10, 10 bytes, right? 29, 37. Yeah, I think. No, it's worth eight. Derp! I'm terrible at math. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. But anyway, as you can tell, not everything's were equal to one byte. Very few things actually are. So it's not actually like 4,000 items. It might be 4,000 items, depending on what you put in there. So I think cobblestone and stuff is equal to one, but that's not really important right now because we're not storing just cobblestone. Cobblestone, yes. We actually got the first set of chests done. I need to get my dollies back. Dolly. And let's go nab ourselves some more chests. Because I do believe we are actually making progress. We don't have too many chests with stuff in them, do we? We've got... This one. This one. No, don't do that. These... And this. So we do have quite a few left. Let's double check. Are you spazzing out? No. Good automated. Wait, why didn't you plant a seed? Okay, whatever. How many stacks of this do we have? We haven't really gained any yet. Alright, well, anyway. We will improve that eventually. Instead of using all Steve's factory manager. Boop. 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 There we go. Let's put those in my backpack. And we'll have one, we'll go two, we'll go three. Actually, this is one. That's four. Yeah. Let's dump some stuff. Uh, so much stuff. We got a lot of stuff that's not actually going to the AE in this chest, though. Like. Frost Smasher, and Quicksilver Tool Rod, and Steel Broadsword, and uh, the raw, the chisel, the blank patterns, and that's it. The rest can go in. We how are we doing on types? Forty thirty six. Sweet. Wait, wait, this is already used up 50, though. Oh, crap. We're going to have to make another one. Do we have another? Oh, this is slime tool rod. All this... That does not go in. That doesn't go in. All this junk does. Hmm. I'm getting kind of... scared. Oh, wait, this has only got nine. Alright. I thought... Never mind. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. I'm just gonna put all this stuff in the in there. No, not that one. So much derping. I'm really hoping three drives is enough to hold all our junk. So far it is. Still only used up 50. Oh, now it's going to 26 on that side though. Where did Evil Matt Hot? Where did Evil Matt Hot go? Did we throw him in here on accident? Oh no, we put him over here. Sorry, Evil Matt Hawk. I wasn't throwing you away. I promise. All this goes in this chest. There we go. 
all this stuff should already have a place, so it's not going to take up any new types. I don't know, I'm starting to think we might be able to fill our junk. No, my hot dogs! My hot dogs. They don't taste as good whenever they've been converted into data. And then converted back. Ugh, I know we got like soggy data hot dogs. Nobody likes data hot dogs. It's gross. Whew. Put these up. Alright, I'm just going to grab the last ones and we'll move them over and then once I'm almost done moving everything, I will be right back. Well, it's coming down to the wire. This is our last chest and we have 51 types used up on the other one. I doubt we have... Actually, you know, it's very possible we have that many... Uh, like 11 new things in here or something. Alright, mixing bowl doesn't go in and neither does that juicer that I had in there. Juicer, come back. Thank you. Up to 60. Oh no. Oh no. Can't have three new types. Oh no. Well, it's literally perfect. So, definitely means we're going to have to make some more. We need more drives. ASAP. ASAP's Fables. That has a spot. None of the spaces are used up, so we can still put stuff in. It's just that or there's no more spaces. <sighs> Alright, so that means we're going to have to hook up the old power back to the crystal growth generators, and we're going to have to make ourselves some more 4Ks. Which require the logic processors and certus quartz, which I think we're running low on certus quartz. Is this enough? This is literally enough for one more. Uh, well, two more, actually. We need three. So let's make two more. If we just turn this stuff into pure, we can make even more. So now we need to get some sand. And we'll need one more. Certus because we need um, some pure to actually craft the junk out of. Why don't I just wait for all of it? I also need my... Hmm, that's a problem. I don't have the energy acceptor over here. Do we have enough to make cables? Give me glass cable. Any I synchronized. That means telling me no, we do not have. Alright. I think we do have enough. This is so weird. One more, go back in there. I need to charge up two of these. I just need to make some cable to connect it up. But for now, I guess they can just be growing. Get them seeds in there. One. Two. Two. And two. Please give it to me without picking up the seeds. Picked up the seeds. Oh goody, 0.0%. Now we need to pulverize three quartz so we can make some quartz fiber. And across the bottom, do that. Now we have eight cable. Is that enough? I'd be kind of mad if it's not enough. Right here, one, two, yeah, it's enough. Three, four, five. Those two are active, but this one's not. Oh, I had some extra cable down here. 
That's a good thing I came down here. Oh, don't. Oh, I thought there was going to be water there. Uh, we can orient this better so it's not using up as much space or in cable by placing it this way. And then we can just place one cable and we're good. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. And we're going to leave one of these open because it draws a ton of power. Like, if we go look at our energy cell, it should be depleting. Yes, very quickly. <laughs> hey! I picked up the seeds again. My god. What a waste of power. So we're going to come back when those are done growing. Alright, so the pure status quartz is done. And we're making ourselves some gold printed logic circuits. Once those are done, we're just going to put our engineering press on there. You know what? It's calculation, not engineering. And we're going to put the pure sodas carrots. We only need two of those, though. One. And two. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Alright. Once all that's done, we finally just make our circuits. Which, now that I think about it, is going to take quite a bit. So I'll be right back again. Okay, holy crap, we got those two. Now, finally, put them in here. It might be running a little bit low on power. Is it nighttime? Oh, we're out of, we're out of types. Uh, take out sticks. Now I can put them in, right? 4K. And we can go click, click, shift. Oh, we need to put those in. And those in. Click, click. No, stop. Stop what you're doing. Clear job of God. Start over. <laughs> There's no more types again. Oh, what can we take out? Mm. Oh, tea, chili peppers, raw pork chops for now. Until we get this sorted out. Click. Right in the middle. Really? I don't have enough? Screw it, I have precisely enough. Wise? Probably not, but... Now we can do this. Create two. Finally, we need the quartz glass. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. That! And we don't have any full rice quartz, oh my god. This should only take a second. Wow, so close. I'm holding my breath. Holy crap, we did it. We now have a functioning AE system. We don't have to worry about types. I'm just going to throw in these subscribers plates, the cup of tea, that. We did it! We have a working AE system. Now what the heck do we want to do with it? We need to fix our power situation. So we want to see, we want to create some better solar panels. And the best part is we should have everything we need just to shift click away. So we need to create mini multiple oh, mark ones. Actually a mark two requires, yeah, just eight mark ones. Do we want to go ahead and try to create a mark three? A mark three. And you know what? We don't have to cables necessary to transfer that. I think we will be good just by making another one of these. I think it would have, How many was it that we needed? I don't even remember. Let's just say 20. Six. That wasn't enough. We're out of glass, aren't we? Ugh. That was an easy way to do that. <laughs> uh, it's so realistic. Why smelt glass into silicon, into glass? Why smelt sand into glass when well, you can just break it down into silicon dioxide and rearrange its molecules into glass? So efficient. So much better. Why, why did we ever do it any other way? Seriously. Solar panel. Solar panel mark one. Four, five, six. That should be good, right? 
Now we should be able to shift click, make eight, go up in here, make ourselves a redstone conduit scroll, and bam. So this does still only produce 16 a tick, so we don't have to worry about upgrading the cables just yet. But this extra little kick should be what we need to um, keep the power production up and running. Might want to increase the Let's Energy cell though. Let's go ahead and install it. Install our new upgrade. Once we get four of these, I'm just going to go ahead and make a tier, uh, a tier 3. Because that's basically all you need for a tier 3. And that and some upgraded lenses. Mirrors, technically. Because everybody knows you use mirrors in uh, solar panels. So. Boop. Boop. There we go. More power. Nothing's extracting it, right? Yep, we got more power, and now everything should be running smoothly. We could probably leave our crystal growth accelerators on, but that's just a waste of power, isn't it? Even though power or anything technically can never be wasted, matter is never wasted. That's why it's always like, stop playing in the water hose, Josh. It, it wastes water, and you're just like, Mom, matter is always conserved. I ain't wasting anything. Jeez, don't you know science? It'll all get recycled, eventually. Is this charging up now? No. Hmm. This is concerning. I think we need more power. Alright, so we were able to make another solar panel Mark II, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a Mark IV. Uh, not Mark IV, Mark III. So the Mark III just requires some photo uh, voltaic cells, which is going to require more of these mirrors. Oh, I'm out of iron. Am I really out of iron? Am I completely out of iron? No, we got some iron ore. So we'll smelt that up real fast. Yeah. My goodness. Alright, that's going to take a little bit to do. But while we're at it, I'll go ahead and gather the other... Actually, you know what? We can't do that until we're absolutely ready. So I'll craft the other things that we need, which are... Uh, solar panel... Solar panel mark. We need machine frame basic. Which we're going to require this tin gear, which we need to iron for. God dang it. I hate everything. We can craft the first parts of this at least. Or if not, the whole thing. Oh, mark three. Go down in here. Shift click. Throw that in. It's so much easier. Redstone. We got some electrum left over. Three. Bam. There we go. We got the Ludstone energy cell, which is the first part of it. How about dad iron? 20 ingots. That should be good for now. We're going to have to go mining soon. But now we have increased storage, so we don't have to worry about running out of space. And I can take down the smeltery soon, because I'm going to create a the sag mill from Ender IO and automate our ore smelting so we don't have to use lava. Lava's kind of expensive. Well, not really. It's just kind of annoying. This is too manual for my taste. I don't like it. Too manual! <laughs> Come on, give me the iron. I'm not going to bother doing all of it for now. Well, actually, that's 18, 19, 20, so we're going to have two left in this mill three. But for now, throw it in. 18 should be enough to finish the solar panel. So solar panel mark 3. We need this now. Which is just that. Mark 3. Enter here. Yes, machine frame. Mark 3. We got this. We'll have all three of these, but we also need to make more of that. So, we need six more. Actually, we only need... I don't know how many does this make. One. So yeah, we need quite a few more. I'm just gonna... Ah, come on. Come on! It's not like it's hard to get glass anymore, though. Is that gonna be enough? I'll do one more. Well, there goes all of our glass. Solar panel mark. Three, not four. We're not ready for four. Three. What are we missing? 
<laughs> We're missing glass. Oh my god. It's actually not too hard, I suppose. This will only get us three pieces. That's enough for one. My goodness, everything works against me. Hmm. Fine. It's not like we can't make it. Just throw the cobblestone in here. One. What happens if we tilt it out? No, oh, it already is. I thought maybe we could like inject it directly into the chemical decomposer. That'd be interesting. That's enough for two photovoltaic cells. This is so much faster than smelting, though, I gotta say. And that's enough for three photovoltaic cells. And we'll go ahead and let it make some extra sand. There we go. Now we can make all three. Assuming we have enough stuff at the bottom. Yeah, we did. Okay. So, solar panel. Well, not full panel. There. And that goes there. That goes there. And then we'll go gather the last things. And hopefully we can gather it without it. I mean, the power should last plenty enough. The last I saw, the cell was almost completely full. So, we'll just nab those things real fast. Craft the Me 3. Put it into place. And then, that'll be the end of the episode. Because we've ran a little bit long today. Alright. Got four of them. And as far as I'm, as far as I know, the let's energy conduit should be able to hold up to uh, that level of transfer. Though we're going to have to upgrade them soon. Let's hurry up and do this. Bam! Mark three. This produces 64. I take my bad, not 128. So this is definitely enough. Let's look at the, the conduit. It can transfer a thousand a tick. So yeah, we're good. But now, this takes up less space. It's the equivalent of four of the previous tier. Oh, let's go put it in place, and then we'll be done for episode eleven. Episode eleven already. All right, let's go place it down. Bonk. I think it's producing. Right? Maybe. I think. Well, I mean, I don't see why it shouldn't be. It's in the same place as the other ones were. It'd been kind of cool to put the uh, solar panels on the roof, but I don't have enough conduit to justify that. All right, let's go check to see if it's actually working, which I, I, don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be, um, honestly. I know how it works. Yep, it's working. It's charging up slowly. Yay! Yeah! There we go. Well, that's going to do it for episode uh, 11 of Artisan. We set up an AE system. We actually did a ton this episode. Set up an AE system. We condensed all our items in one place. Got some drives. Set up some other stuff. Got a few new machines. Did we do this last episode or this episode? I don't remember. But yeah, we did a lot of stuff. We need to just figure out what to do with this junk. Next episode. What's going to happen next episode? I'm thinking we're going to have to start aiming towards some more automation. As in, we're going to automate the gathering and smelting of ores, which is something I should have did a long time ago. And we're also going to have to upgrade our tech, which means we should get upgraded machines. we got stuff to do. So, I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you stick around.